Hello and welcome back to program 62 and in this third video we're going to be applying the program to the TradeStation scanner. Uh, just a, a quick reminder that program 62 is a divergence program, oscillator divergence program based on an oscillator of your selection out of a, a list of uh, I think about five different oscillators and uh, what I suggest is that you probably want to look at videos one and two before this video to explain some of the things such as the uh, the inputs in more detail but let's just go ahead and add the indicator to the scanner so we're going to say insert scan and we'll give it a name program 62 and say next we need to include the symbols that we want to scan find out have the has there been a recent divergence or potential divergence in a symbol out of a specific list. So what our list is going to be today is S&P 500. We could add more lists here and we can exclude symbols if we wish. Now what we're going to do is insert the indicator which is program 62. It's going to go down to the bottom here and click indicator going to click program 62 and having done that I'm going to just click the little plus here so that we can see the inputs now like with radar screen a lot of these inputs won't affect the scanner because they're there for the, the chart but the ones that will affect the scanner are the max array size this determines how many pivot um, price uh, oscillator pivot pairs are stored in an array and uh, such that each time a new pivot pair is found it's compared with all the pivot pairs in the array that can be a maximum of size of five which oscillator this depends on the oscillator you wish to use so that could be stochastic macd cci etc and also the sub oscillators within the uh, the specific oscillator for for so for example for stochastic you might want to use o slow d Left strength and right strength determine the strength of pivots. The larger the number, the stronger, as it were, the pivot. Bar tolerance. This determines how many bars apart a price pivot and an oscillator pivot can be, assuming that they may not necessarily be on the same bar. Now, the following few inputs won't have any effect. Draw trend line and its associated inputs. Uh, normal draw ellipse and its associated inputs but you will need to think about some of the other ones so for example if you were to choose stochastic you would need to make sure that the stochastic inputs are set and what I've tried to do is name the input so that it's obvious that these ones refer to stochastic these ones refer to MACD these ones refer to TSI and so on and so forth Having done that, keep on going to the bottom here and uh, you'll see the interval. We're going to use daily, but you could use other. And uh, make sure you've got some additional bars loaded. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the top there. Now we're going to uh, basically look for everything where the alert is true. So that's going to show us all the symbols where a divergence has occurred. But what I also want to do, it's going to double click on, or rather just select that and just click format, um, is, okay, just click on scan criteria. And uh, what we're also going to do, we're just going to insert the program again. So I'm going to click indicator select program 62 now make sure that the inputs are the same as the previous line but uh, in this case we're going to show whether this is bullish or bearish just to make it easier to see so i'm just going to click display there and then we're just going to do that a third time uh, we're going to add the indicator again program 62 okay and uh, this time we just want to display bearish click bearish then say display 
again make sure that the inputs are the same in these uh, these three programs having done that I'm going to click run and uh, what I'll do is just let the program go ahead and uh, process these symbols and then we'll come back and look at the results in a few moments okay so we can now see the results and you'll notice the first column is all true but then that's divided up by some symbols showing potential bullish divergence and some showing potential bearish divergence so um, this program is going to be available for download or is available for download and uh, works with charts with radar screen and with scanner although you don't need to use it on any of those specifically but uh, i hope you will find it useful thank you